Hello, my mathematicians. This is Miss Foster with a special look on at some of the work from chapter eight, practice number two, adding decimals. In this case, we have a puzzle that involves a number line. So the directions say that Derek hops two steps on each number line. Oh, yes, which decimal does he land on? Write the correct decimal in each box. Hmm. Well, here's Derek at number 11. He's on a number line, and it looks like he started right here at 10. So as I think about this number line, I've got 10 and no tenths. So that tells me I'm probably dealing with decimals. We've got some extra placeholders in there. And it goes 10, 11, 12, 13. And then he measured his hops. So he started at 10 and went 1 and 26 hundredths here. Then he had a much bigger hop where he went two and 57 hundredths. So how can we find out what goes right here on the number line? Well, I think what I would like to do is start with his beginning place, which is 10, and I will write that down up here and add that to his two hops. So here we have one and 26 hundredths. Now when I add this one to the 10, I'm gonna to wanna to line up the decimals. So let me get a decimal point here. This is one in the single ones place, so I'll put that there, and 26 hundredths, and uh-oh, oh no, is this making you feel a little seasick? It makes me feel a little squidgy, because there's nothing up here. But that's when I remember that we have complete permission to write as many zeros to the right of the decimal point as we want, so that we don't feel that way. There are, of course, zero hundredths in 10 and zero tenths, they just didn't write it because they didn't need it when they were making this number line. So there's his first jump, one and 26 hundredths. How about two and 57 hundredths? Well, again, I'm gonna line up the decimal point, keeps all my place value organized. I've got two and 57 hundredths. And I'm gonna add all of these together now. So I'm gonna change color for that just to help us stay organized. Six plus seven is 13 hundredths. I will write the three single hundredths in the hundredth spot and regroup the, the ten hundredths and call them one tenth. And I wrote it up there in green. Now I have one tenths, zero tenths, two tenths, and five tenths. And when I add that all together, I got eight tenths. And I don't have to do any regrouping. Moving to the single ones place, I've got zero plus one plus two, that's three. And moving to the tens place, one ten plus nothing is one ten. So the correct answer on this number line, for to find where he landed, he landed at 13 and 83 hundredths on this number line. Let's scroll down and do just one more together, shall we? So here is his new number line, and whatever it is he's counting, it looks to me like he's counting uh, starting at 50, and again, zero tenths. And as I look at the number line, it starts at 50, and then it's 51, 52, 53. They give me some tenths here with a zero to let me know they're thinking about decimals. But it looks like he took two hops that involved hundredths. Hmm. So let me see if I can get us some room to do our work. So his first hop, he starts at 50, so I'm going to write down 50 right here. And because they put a decimal point and no tenths, I'm going to add that also as I write it, because I can see up here I've got some decimals to deal with. His first hop, he goes two and 69 hundredths and lands here. So I will get two and 69 hundredths here, lining up my decimal points to keep myself organized with place value. But once again, I find myself in a position of having nothing here and feeling like I want it. Today I'm gonna to be brave on this problem and leave it there. Let's just see what that looks like. His next hop is one and 83 hundredths, so I'll use that decimal point to get everything in its place. And there we are. So I'm going to add these together to find his landing spot. Now, I didn't put a zero up here this time. Of course you can, but as I'm adding, I don't really need to if I don't want to, because it just means nothing. So I'll just let it be nothing plus nine plus three. Well, that's 12. Nine plus three is 12. So that's two hundredths and one extra tenth. Okay, I'm going to switch to green. One plus six plus eight. Oh my, this was one of my worst addition facts. But I know that six plus eight is 14 because I love even numbers. So if I add one more to that, that's 15. Mm. I have to do some regrouping here in the tenths place also, don't I? So I'm gonna put the five tenths here from 15, 
but the, those 10 tenths from the 15, they'll come together to make one whole single one. Then I will add up my single ones place. One plus two plus one plus zero is four single ones. And in the tens place, it has five plus nothing, which is five. So that means that I believe that Derek stopped. His last hump was at 54 and 52 hundredths. And that's how you find those answers. So my friends, thank you for playing even more edition of decimals with me. I love playing math with you. Bye-bye for now.